Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's class is a standing Pilates workout. So all you will need is yourself and a bit of space. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class bringing our awareness into our posture and into our breath. So standing up nice and tall, draw your navel in, drop your tailbone. Take your hands onto your rib cage. Inhale through your nose, let your rib cage expand into your hands. Then exhale out through your mouth, dropping your ribs in and down towards your hips. And again, inhale, let your rib cage expand. Exhale, draw your ribs together and down towards your hips. Two more times, inhale and exhale, really drawing your navel in as you drop your ribs down. One more. Beautiful job. Take your feet hip distance apart now and place your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Inhale, expand through your chest. Exhale, drop your chin down and roll your spine down vertebra by vertebra. Then inhale at the bottom, exhale, roll yourself up to standing. And again, inhale, open your chest, exhale, tuck your chin in, roll yourself down nice and slow. Inhale at the bottom, then exhale, roll yourself up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, open your chest. This time, exhale, tuck your chin in, roll yourself down. Keep a soft bend through your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, open your elbows, flat back. Exhale, release. And then roll yourself up, vertebra by vertebra. And one more time, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, roll down, chin to chest. Inhale, halfway lift, nice straight spine. Exhale, release and roll yourself up to standing nice and slowly. Keep your hands behind your head, draw your navel in. Exhale, lift your right knee and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Six more like this. Really take this nice and controlled Focusing on keeping your abs engaged, keeping everything nice and still through your body as you lift your knee. Last one. Let's add a twist. Inhale, lift your knee, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, set the foot down. Keep going, you lift, twist, center, set the foot down. Six more like this. Keep reaching up through the crown of your head. And as you twist, really take a nice exhale out through your mouth, finding that connection between your rib and your hip. From here, let's just twist it out. You twist and twist, pulling opposite elbow to opposite knee. Keep standing up nice and tall, elbows wide. You have six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Step your feet out slightly wider than hip distance apart with your toes turned out. Reach your arms in front of your chest. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, squat. Exhale, press. Make sure your weight is in your heels and you're sending your glutes back behind you. Last one. Now let's add a side kick. So inhale, squat down. Exhale, kick your left leg. Inhale, squat. Exhale, kick. So just your left leg at this stage. Make sure your leg is in line with your hip and that you're really reaching through your toes as you kick your leg up. Last one. Let's hold and just lower your leg 
and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure that your right knee is nice and bent and you're really reaching up through the crown of your head, finding that straight spine. Three more. And two. Last one, hold your leg lifted. Let's draw some circles for eight. Seven, really reach through your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, eight, seven. Keep your right knee bent. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Tap your toes down and bring your hands in front of you. And let's tap to the side, add a twist, tap to the other side and twist. Adding a little hop in between if you want to level things up a little bit, get your heart rate racing, but you take it at your own pace. Really good job, really twist it out, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Just four more, three, two, and last one. So good. Let's take our left foot behind now in our curtsy position. So make sure your knees and your toes are turned out and you're squeezing your thighs in towards each other. Reach your arms in front of your chest. Inhale, curtsy down, sweep your arms back, then exhale, press up. And again, inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up. Slightly hinge forward as you come down into your curtsy so that you really work your right glute muscle. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold low in your curtsy and let's flip our palms up and down. You flip up and down. Really lift your arms up nice and high, bend into your knees. And now let's add a pulse with our legs. You pulse down and down. Keep flipping your arms for me. You've got it. Draw your belly button in. Nice straight spine. Just four more. Three, two, and one. Really good job. Shift your weight forward now. Reach your left arm by your ear. Exhale, pull left elbow to left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Just six more. Make sure that you're keeping your right knee bent so that your right glute stays activated and nice and fiery. Just two more. And last one. Hold your leg back. Take your arms in front of your body now. Draw your navel in and lift your back leg and then tap it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Six more. Bit of a balance challenge, I know. Keep bending into your right knee, drawing your navel in. You've got it. Two more. And on this last one, hold your leg lifted. Take little pulses for eight. Seven, you've got it. Six, really squeezing your glutes. Four, three, two, and a one beautiful job let's draw our right knee in towards our chest that should feel really nice for your glute and then switch sides draw your left knee in take deep breaths beautiful okay you know the drill let's repeat that on the other side so we squat down and then kick our right leg out to the side. Inhale, squat, exhale, kick. Six more. Make sure that you're pressing your knees out as you come down into your squat, and then really stand up tall as you kick your leg out to the side. On this next one, let's stay standing. Tap your right foot down, and then exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Six more. Make sure your left knee is bent here so we're really working our left glute. Two 
two more. And last one, hold your leg lifted, eight circles and seven, six, five, relax through your shoulders, three, two, and one, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your toes down, bring your hands in front, and let's return to our tap and twist. One of my favorite moves. I really want you to pick up the pace here, lifting your heart rate. You've got it nice exhale each time you pull opposite elbow to opposite knee. Let's do four more and three, two and one. Really nice. Cross your right foot behind now for your curtsy, making sure your knees and your toes are turned out. Inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up as you sweep your arms back and then forward in front of your chest. Six more. As you curtsy down, slightly hinge your body forward, but make sure you're drawing your navel in, keeping your spine straight. You've got to keep your arms nice and lifted. Let's hold in our curtsy now. Flip your palms up and down. Flip up and down. Just breathing naturally here. You've got to keep drawing your navel in. Let's get ready to add those pulses in our legs. Here we go. You pulse down and down as you flip your palms up and down. Really bend into your curtsies a little bit more, working our legs, working our glutes. Just four more, three, two, and one. Shift your weight forward. Let's reach our right arm by our ear. Exhale, pull right elbow to right knee. Inhale, tap back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, tap. Keep your left knee bent for me. And as you pull your elbow in towards your knee, really think of crunching through the side of your waist, working your abdominals. And last one. Take your arms in front of your body. Shift your weight forward. Exhale, lift your back leg. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Six more. Find a focal point somewhere on the floor to help with your balance and keep reaching through the crown of your head. On the next one, hold your leg lifted, little pulses you lift and lift. Six more, five, four, little higher, three, two, and one. Woo! Let's draw our left knee in towards our chest. And then switch sides, draw your right knee. Well done, everyone. Let's give our legs a little bit of a break. Come into a first position with your heels together and your toes apart and reach your arms forward with your palms facing down. Pull your elbows wide and then reach forward as you plie down and press up. So elbows pull, and reach as you plie down and up. Really draw your shoulder blades together as you pull your elbows back, making sure that your elbows are at shoulder height. On this next one, let's hold our elbows back and take a little pulses. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold here, flip your palms up and down. Just up and down. Keep a nice bend in your knees. On this next one, hold your palms up, reach your arms up to the sky, straightening your legs. Then exhale, pull your elbows down as you lift your heels with control. Inhale, lower your heels, reach your arms up 
Exhale, pull your elbows in, lifting your heels. Keep going. Really squeeze your glutes, squeeze your leg muscles when you lift your heels up to find your control and your balance. And keep reaching up through the crown of your head, standing up nice and tall. We have two more. And last one. Hold your elbows in, lower your heels and bend your knees. Eight pulses. You pull in and in. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten your legs, flip your palms up. Let's reach our arms out to the diagonal and then pull your elbows in. Make sure that when you reach your arms out that you are drawing them slightly forward in front of your shoulders. Two more. And last one, hold your arms out and let's draw little circles. Everyone's favorite, I know. Keep drawing your shoulders back and down. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse, other way. You've got it. Keep breathing. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, flip your palms back and up. You flip back and up. Keeping your arms nice and lifted, you should feel a really nice burn through your shoulders at this point. We have three more, two, and last one. Hold your palms facing back, lower your arms down, lift them up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Six more, and five, four, three, two and last one hold your arms up you guessed it little circles only eight more seven six five four three two one and now reverse other way really reach through your fingertips nice straight arms just eight more seven six five, four, three, two, one. Final move in this series, bend your knees and let's flip our palms up and down as we pulse in our plie. Really nice job. Keep your arms lifted, keep breathing. Only three more and two and a one. Excellent job. Give yourself a big hug. Shimmy your shoulders if you need to. And then let's come to the top of our mat for our lunges. So step your left foot back with your right leg forward and stack your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press. Just two more like this. And last one. Now let's add a twist. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, press up. Keep going. Make sure here that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and that you're keeping your spine super straight as you come down into your lunge. This really works our legs and our core. Last one here. Excellent job. Hold in your lunge, reach your arms up to the sky and take eight pulses down and down. Six more, five, four, nice long spine, two and a one. Hinge forward now, straightening your back leg. Stack your hands in front of your chest. On your exhale, pull your knee in, press your hands into your leg, and then inhale, tap back. So exhale, pull, inhale, tap back. Six more. 
really press your hands into the top of your leg, engaging your abdominals. You've got it. On your exhale, really draw your navel in, drop your ribs down to your hips. Last one. Now reach your arms forward and let's speed it up. You just pull and pull. Keep your right knee bent, working into your glutes. And every time you pull your knee in, take a nice exhale, contracting through your abs. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's come to a wide second position now. On your inhale, plie down, exhale, press up. Inhale, plie, exhale, press. So remember with your plies, we're keeping our spine nice and straight. Make sure your knees are stacked over your toes and really pressing your knees out. Let's do two more. And on your next one, hold a low in your plie. Take your hands behind your head. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, center. Six more. So really trying to drop one rib down to your hip as you lengthen through the opposite side. Really nice. Last one here. Now hold through center, reach your arms up to the sky, eight pulses, down and down. You knew it was coming. Just five more, four, three, two, and one. Press yourself up and let's come to our lunge on the other side. So left leg forward, right foot back, inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. Two more, then we add that twist. Here we go, inhale, lunge, exhale, twist left, inhale, center, exhale, press up. You lunge, twist, center, press up. Six more. When you lunge down, make sure there's one long line all the way from your right knee up through your hip, your shoulder, and the crown of your head. So keeping that beautiful straight spine. Keep the movement nice and controlled for me. This is your last one. Hold low in your lunge, reach your arms up. Eight pulses, here we go. Down and down. Just six more. Five, lengthen through the side of your waist. Three, two, and a one. Hinge forward, stack your hands in front of your chest. Exhale, pull your right knee in. Inhale, tap back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, tap. Remember to press your hands into the top of your thigh, really dropping your ribs down to your hips to engage your abs. Keep it nice and controlled. One more. Now hold your toes back, reach your arms forward. Let's speed it up. You pull and pull. Nice exhale and exhale. Really good job. Last time you do this, so really bend a little deeper into your left knee. Just four more. Three, two, and a one. Well done. Let's return to our wide second position. Take a quick little breather, then inhale. Plie down, lift your heels, lower your heels, and then exhale, press up. Plie, lift your heels, lower, press up. Six more like this. Really working our inner thighs. Try to lift your heels up and down with as much control as you can. Class is almost over, so keep your focus. You can do it. Only one more. Good job. Hold low in your plie now. Take your hands behind your head. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, side bend right, inhale, center. Just six more. Can you bend into your knees a little bit more? Two more. And last one. Reach your arms up to the sky. Final little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, final move to finish class. Let's just curtsy side to side. Tapping one hand down to the mat if you can. Really bend into your knees for me. You can do it. Maybe you want to add a little hop in between your curtsies to pick up the pace. You're doing so well. Keep going. Only four more. Three, two, and a one. Excellent job. You are done. We get to stretch it out. So let's return to how we started class. Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, tuck your chin in and roll your spine down. Inhale at the bottom. Then exhale very slowly, roll yourself back up to standing. One more. Inhale, broaden through your collarbones. Exhale, tuck your chin in, roll your spine down. Inhale at the bottom. And then exhale, roll back up. This time, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, halfway lift, keeping a bend through your knees. Exhale, release and roll yourself up. One more time. This should feel so nice. Beautiful job. Let's release our arms out to the side now. On your inhale, reach your right arm over, finding a beautiful side bend. Exhale, return through center. Inhale, other side. And exhale, return through center. Let's take our hands behind our back now. Inhale, open through your chest, straighten your arms and exhale hinge forward over your legs keeping your legs straight if you can so that you feel a really beautiful stretch through the back of your legs then from here bend your right knee straighten your left leg and see if you can bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee looking up towards the sky Carefully return through center, other side. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. See if you can bring your left shoulder to the inner part of your left knee. Then return through center, release your hands, bend your knees and very slowly roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Head is the last to lift. Standing up tall. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Look up. Exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. One more. Nice big inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's standing Pilates workout. If you want to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again, and I hope you have the most beautiful day.